Hello, and welcome to Peacock Ridge Farm. I'm Renee Fry, and I am so glad that you're here. I love all things French country and cottage style. I love entertaining my friends and family with beautiful tablescapes and easy and delicious recipes. I love a good room remodel and DIY projects. I hope that you will join me here on Peacock Ridge Farm Elegant Country Living. So glad that you're here. Come on in. Welcome to Peacock Ridge Farm, the ultimate destination for elegant country living. In this week's episode is All Things Fall. We bring to you a plethora of ideas that will add a touch of French country flair to your home this season. Get ready to be inspired as we show you how to create a fall mantle refresh. Elegant mantle decorating ideas, which will bring warmth and coziness to your living space. You will particularly love our tips on decorating with grapevine pumpkins which lend a chic, understated elegance to any setting. If you're looking to decorate your table while entertaining guests this fall, we've got you covered with our tutorial on how to decorate a fall table setting, which features the season's quintessential symbol, pumpkins. But that's not all. You will also learn how to make a delicious pear burrata salad with this quick and easy recipe that's perfect for busy weeknights or for serving at dinner parties. And if you're looking for another delicious and easy fall recipe, you'll love our quick and easy green bean almondine. To explore more inspiration ideas for elegant country living, subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Instagram, Pinterest, Facebook, and for more exclusive content, don't forget to visit our blog at PeacockRidgeFarm.com. Are you ready to embrace the magic of fall with Peacock Ridge Farm? Join us in this delightful journey of all things elegant and country. Blessings to you. Today, I'm going to show you how to create an elegant fall mantelscape. I start by draping this elegant crimson runner over my mantle to add my foundation layer and my first layer of color. Next, I added these vintage urns to each side for height. Each urn has a fern plant in them to give a pop of color. I then added this whimsical floral arrangement made for my own garden for additional height and dimension. I love how the flowers and the runner complement each other. Next are these elegant brass candlesticks. All three of them are differing heights for added fall ambiance. And here I placed my grapevine pumpkins along the mantel for a bit of rustic charm. 
Next, I added faux fruits like apples, grapes, and pears for pops of color and also to fill in some of the empty spaces along the mantel. I then placed some glittered eucalyptus stems between the fruit and pumpkins for a bit of sparkling greenery. And that's it. With a few signature fall pieces, you can bring warmth and coziness to your living spaces. Don't you just love the rustic elegance of this mantle? The grapevine pumpkins paired with the brass accents are such a beautiful combination. This fall mantle was such a joy to share with you, and I hope it has helped you find inspiration for your next fall tablescape. I am going to make a fall floral arrangement using this vintage brass urn and some flowers from my garden. So let's get started. Because this is a vintage urn and I'm not sure how well that it'll hold water, I went ahead and put a large Ziploc baggie in it and filled it with water. I will eventually cover the plastic bag so you won't be able to see it at all. So I had this lovely eucalyptus growing in the yard. And so I am going to start with that. And I'm just gonna poke it all the way around on the side so that it kind of turns over and flows over the urn. And then I'm just gonna add some flowers. Put this little guy right in the middle. This flower arrangement is going to be seen on all sides as it will be right in the middle of the table. So I want to make sure that it looks pretty from every angle. When I'm choosing flowers for a floral arrangement, I try to have a mixture of colors and sizes of my blooms. And I like to add at least two different kinds of greenery just to keep things interesting. If you'll notice, I'm adding some flowers that are a bit more refined and some flowers that are a little bit more whimsical. I remove any leaves that are on the blooms as they will, um, they'll make the water dirty faster. I don't want this bouquet to look too perfect. I want it to look a little bit whimsical and like it's fresh from the garden. I'm going to add these decorative grasses in here. Again, just adding a little bit more whimsy and character. Add a little bit more greenery. Adding a bit of hype here. Greenery always adds just so much life to a floral arrangement. And when you add greenery around the bottom like this, it fills in any blank spots. And it'll cover my Ziploc baggie. If you notice, I just keep adding more and more character to this bouquet. Feel free to push and pull flowers as you go along. 
making sure that they are exactly where you want them to be. Remember, there's just no rules to this, except for just have fun. And there you have it, a perfectly imperfect fall bouquet. I am going to show you how I created an elegant fall tablescape. I first started by placing my neutral woven table runner in the center of my table. I then added this rustic wood tray to the center with vintage books placed inside. Next, I added my round woven placemats to begin my table foundation. I then placed my decorative scalloped edge dinner plates at each place setting, followed by the matching decorative salad plates. Next, I added a cream colored woven napkin to each place setting, followed by the matching dessert plates. I then topped each place setting off with a cute little white pumpkin and a maple leaf to add more greenery to each place setting. Next, I added my vintage water goblets for a bit more elegance. To really make this tablescape come to life, I added an abundance of eucalyptus fresh from my farm, as well as some lighted candles for ambiance. I decoratively placed a mixture of faux pumpkins between the eucalyptus stems to add more fall flair. Then I added my vintage silverware. Lastly, I topped the table with beautiful fresh hydrangea from my garden atop the eucalyptus. Didn't this fall tablescape turn out lovely? With a mixture of fresh greenery and florals from the outdoors and a little added pumpkin charm, this tablescape is perfect for your next fall gathering. I hope you have found some inspiration today for your next fall tablescape. I'm so glad that you're here today. Today I am going to show you how to make a pear burrata salad. This salad is so incredibly easy, it's delicious, and it's elegant. Here are the ingredients that I'm using for this salad today. I have fresh Bartlett pears, some honey, some fresh burrata cheese, and some sliced almonds. So let's get started. First, I'm starting with a Bartlett pear, just slicing it in half and getting the core out. And then I'm just going to slice it thinly. So with my pear slices, I'm now just going to arrange them around a plate. And then I'm using some fresh burrata. You can just get it at your local grocery store in the cheese section. 
It's delicious. It's a creamy, fresh mozzarella. Um, it's creamy because it hasn't quite set up yet, but it is unbelievable. Comes in just small balls. And I'm just going to slice them in half and arrange them on my plate. And now just a little drizzle of honey. And a sprinkle of almonds. It is so pretty that it's perfect for a brunch an afternoon tea, or an elegant dinner. And there you have it, a beautiful pear burrata salad. It's delicious for any time of day. Today, I am going to show you how I make green beans almondine. Here are the ingredients that I'm using for this recipe. Fresh green beans, salt and pepper, some chicken stock, some butter, and some almonds. This recipe is just so easy. I have my stock pot with a steaming pot inside. The steaming pot is full of coals. I add my chicken stock to the pan. And then I add my green beans right into the steamer pot. I turn my heat on to high and I'm going to cover the pot. So I, so I let the chicken stock boil and steam the green beans for about 15 minutes. I check the beans often and make sure that they're not getting overcooked. I want them to be about crisp tender. The green beans have steamed for about 15 minutes now and they're just crisp tender. Perfect. So I turn the heat off and now I'm going to drain them. I'm putting the green beans back in the same pot that they cooked in. And now I add butter. I actually add quite a bit of butter. And salt and pepper. And then I just go ahead and toss the green beans in the butter and sprinkle on the almonds. And there you have it. Quick, easy, and delicious green beans almondine. Thank you so much for stopping by today. I always enjoy our time together. Please be sure to follow me on my blog at peacockridgefarm.com on all of my social medias, but especially here on YouTube. Make sure you push that follow button. Blessings to you.